What's going on, Rudies? This is Low Tech, and you're listening to my track. This is the Rebirth of Rude. And in this video, I'll be breaking down the references in the track. First of all, the song is based on a track from 1978 by Zap Powell called This Is Reggae Music. For my version, the music was replayed with some added hip hop flavors, and the chorus is sung by Daddy Speedo. Video footage on the screen at the moment is from the movie Rockers. More on that film later. Now let's get into the verses. This is Big Ting's Aguan, this is the bullet in Bob Zan. Reggae star Bob Marley, Rita Marley, and the manager of the Whalers, Don Taylor, are now patients in the University Hospital after receiving gunshot wounds during a shooting incident which took place at Marley's home at 56 Hope Road. On December the 3rd, 1976, at around 8.30pm, two carloads of assassins drove into Bob Marley's tough gong headquarters at 56 Hope Road in Kingston, Jamaica, and opened fire. Bob Marley and the Whalers were rehearsing for the Smile Jamaica concert due to be held on the 5th of December. According to Tyrone Downey, the Whalers keyboardist at the time, they were rehearsing the song I Shot the Sheriff when the gunmen began shooting in the area the band were rehearsing. Bob had actually stepped out at the time while the horn players worked out their parts. The gunmen went around the building shooting wildly, leaving dozens of bullet holes in the walls. Downey said at one point he saw just a hand reach around the door of the room they were sheltering in and start firing shots blindly. Bob was shot twice. One bullet grazed across his chest while the other lodged in his arm just above his elbow. Rita Marley had a gunshot wound to her head and Don Taylor, the band's manager, was shot five times in the chest and legs. One other person was also shot, but there were no fatalities. The reason for the attempt on Bob's life seemed obvious. The Smile Jamaica concert had become highly politically charged. Shortly after the concert was announced, elections were scheduled for the 15th of December, just 10 days after the concert. Both the incumbent administration, the Democratic Socialist PMP led by Michael Manley, and the more conservative JLP led by Edward Siaga wanted Bob Marley to endorse them. Bob wanted to remain neutral but recognised something needed to be done to quell the political violence that was happening in Jamaica at the time. He felt a concert would be an ideal event to achieve this. Who exactly arranged the hit on Bob Marley is unknown. Some say the CIA were involved as part of their ongoing efforts to destabilise the socialist Jamaican government and prevent what they described as another Cuba. Others believed it was Edward Siaga in the JLP acting alone. They feared that Bob Marley was going to endorse Michael Manley and they wanted to stop this from happening. Nancy Burke, Bob's neighbour, remembered hearing the Whalers percussionist Alvin Patterson shouting, It's Siaga's men, come for kill Bob! Apparently he had recognised one of the shooters as Lester Coke, aka Jim Brown, co-founder of the notorious Shower Posse and Edward Siaga's bodyguard. Despite the assassination attempt, Bob was determined the concert would go ahead. Two days later he performed, with the bullet still lodged in his arm. The bullet in Bob's arm symbolises the power of the message in the music and the determination and defiance that is at the heart of reggae. <laughs> 